All right, so um, this is uh, this is my mostly finished um, vulture demon. That is definitely not a Lord of Change whatsoever. Definitely not. Don't sue. Um, I picked this up from the. Uh, this is a. Cre this is one of the Creature Factory minis. I mean, I say mini. It's pretty damn big. Um, that uh, I was a big fan of. Um, uh, and um, I, I, I just liked it way more than the Games Workshop uh, Lord of Change. And um, I, I saw someone had picked one up at um, dang it, at Adepticon um, last year, and I had a look at it uh, unpainted, and I immediately fell in love because uh, the detail is, if you look, you can see them teeth right there. I was a big fan of those because they reminded me of... Um, of the uh, of the Godzilla from the Hideki Anno film, uh, the one that looks like a Dark Souls boss with all the uh, deformed, uh, like cancerous uh, uh, growth on him. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm really happy with how the paint job on this guy turned out. Um, I started off with a pale uh, electric blue, whatever the official name for the GW stuff is. Then I went over it with um, uh, with a with a dark blue wash. Um, that, uh, I immediately made it look infinitely better. I over-rely on washes massively. I will, I will cop to that. Um, and then I, uh, I used a very, like, opaque, uh, like, not dull, um, violet, co purple color, um, to go over with his, uh, to make the strips of, uh, of flesh for his, uh, flesh pants and a couple of other areas, the, the strips that are sort of, like, holding together, like, wrappings. Um, but then I, I wound up using that also more lightly to just highlight them all over. Uh, you can see it in particular on his uh, on his hands there. And uh, yeah, then um, then you know green on those random eyes here and there. Uh, his the eyes there uh, for his actual eyes wound up way too um, muted because uh, what I tried to do with them I made them yellow and I tried to do what I did right here with the um, with the orb in the in the staff. Um, that's green, and then I put the uh, the soul stone uh, gloss uh, over it in blue, um, which that turned out okay, but it didn't work on the eyes, so I'll have to take a crack at that. Also, the wings. Um, I'm happy that I made the wings uh, red, but they are way too boring. Um, I, I even tried to make the like the wing armatures here um, in uh, in br in brown, but it, it's just not different enough. I need to do something to pick out the detailing on the wings, and maybe. Uh, I'll have a look at the other Lord of Change models that are out there and and see what they did with them. Um, I mean, I guess I could make the wings like some weird rainbow or something. I I don't know yet. I'll I'll still figure that out. But uh, overall, yeah, the, I'm I'm very happy with this model. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, and then also he's got a t uh, a couple of the cool little details on here. So um, right there is a tongue. Um, also, so, oh yeah, so there you go. We got you can see that his uh, he's got like. Jaws that open and close, basically, on his, uh, on his knee there. Then he's got that weird tongue coming out. Um, if you look right there, you can see a nose and, uh, and teeth and an eye and then several more eyes. So he's got a face right there. Then he's got another face that's screaming and has, uh, has horns on it. I, I might also pick out the detail on that horn right there. Um, uh, might, might give that either a black or a, uh, white, um, like, bone jut on it. Not sure yet. Dunno. But, um, yeah. Then there's, uh, yeah, the detailing is gorgeous. I mean, the detailing of the model, not my detailing. My detailing is just adequate. Uh, there's one last thing about it, though. Um, so the kit, uh, comes with, it comes with two extra little freebies that I was surprised about. Um, came with an alternate head. That, um, I, I went with that, the, this one right there because I wanted him to look more, uh, intelligent and, um, like, sinister. But, uh, now when I look at it and compare it to this, no, I, I made the wrong choice. I should have gone with Roaring Head. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, what was the, how does that, the Skeksis from Dark Crystal, the Chamberlain? I forget now. I, I can't do that. Whatever. Most annoying sound ever. That's what I, that, that's what I hear. Um, so yeah, it comes with this extra head, and it's cool that they give you that option. I wish I could come up with a use for this head, but I can't imagine where I would, 
w w what I could do with it. Maybe emerging from a portal? Actually, it's not a bad idea, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, then it comes with this other thing. Yeah. Isn't that the most adorablest thing ever? Look at that. Oh, look, um, don't talk to me and my son ever again. <laughs> yeah, so um, I, I might actually paint this up. Uh, might use it as an objective marker or something. Um, but yeah, that's a that's an amusing little touch. Um, so yeah, uh, I, uh, so um, I, uh, I I put a link to the uh, to their to their web page in the description here for some reason. Um, even though I, I mean. Uh, yeah, th this isn't a sponsored video. It just occurred to me that I should uh, that I should probably put a link there for people to check that out. Um, so yeah, go to uh, go to Creature Caster for all of your greater demon needs um, because uh, their stuff is uh, pretty fucking badass. Um, but be prepared to do a lot of work uh, cleaning up the mold lines though, because um, the mold lines were uh, pretty gnarly on this one. Uh, but yeah, no, really fucking good work. I am super impressed with it. Uh, later's.